welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History. Now I'm taking you back to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I today. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 23rd of February 1601, religious pamphleteer and Member of Parliament Job Throckmorton was buried at Haisley in Warwickshire. Job was the eldest son of Clement Throckmorton of Haisley in Warwickshire and his wife Catherine Neville. It is believed that Job was one of the men responsible for the Martin Marprelate tracts. These religious tracts which attacked the established church were written under the pseudonym Martin Marprelate and his sons and published in 1588 and 1589 by John Penry and Robert Waldegrave. In his article on Throckmorton, Patrick Collinson writes that a comparison of Throckmorton's 1549 work, The Defence of Job Throckmorton Against the Slanders of Master Sutcliffe, with the Marprelate satires, has persuaded modern critical opinion that if these satires had a single author, that author was Throckmorton, although Throckmorton himself denied it. Other names linked to the tracts include the publisher John Penry, Sir Michael Hicks, Henry Barrow, Roger Williams and George Carleton. The Mar Prelate controversy was a pamphlet war between the writers of the tracts and defenders of the church. It had been sparked off by a Star Chamber decree championed by John Whitgift, Archbishop of Canterbury, which forbade the publication of any books, pamphlets or tracts which had not been authorised by the Archbishop or his colleague, the Bishop of London. This allowed Whitgift to suppress Puritan works which he viewed as heresy. In response to the Archbishop's censorship, Martin Marprelate and Sons printed a series of tracts using private printing presses. These tracts attacked certain bishops and the church as a whole and included the epistle, the epitome and certain mineral and metaphysical school points. Tracts were written in answer, in defence, by church defenders including Thomas Cooper, Bishop of Winchester, writer and playwright John Lilly, writer and playwright Thomas Nash, and dramatist Robert Green. Although Job was tried in 1590 after being implicated in the Marprelate controversy, he pleaded, I am not Martin, I knew not Martin. And thanks to his status, he escaped punishment. His colleague, John Penry, however, wasn't as lucky and was hanged. Job is also known for what Patrick Collinson describes as his extraordinary parliamentary speeches, such as when he denounced Mary, Queen of Scots as the daughter of sedition, the mother of rebellion, the nurse of impiety, and also his attacks on England's Catholic neighbours, which included him calling James VI of Scotland the young imp of Scotland, for which William Cecil, Lord Burley, had to apologise to the Scottish ambassador and promised to imprison Job in the Tower. Job escaped imprisonment, though. Job Throckmorton seems to have been quite a colourful and rather a lucky character. Now, in the description to this video, you can also find a link to last year's On This Day in Tudor History, so you can enjoy that too. You can subscribe by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell the bells ringing out there, to be notified as these videos go live. And you can, of course, give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye bye.